What is good? What is up? It's Jordan or Texans Thoughts, and I'm back with another film breakdown. Today, we're going to be looking at Earl Thomas. Yes, that Earl Thomas. It was reported that the Texans are interested in him and are bringing him in for a workout later this week. Personally, I would love the signing. I think Earl is still super talented on the field, and if his mindset is right, he can really help this team. So if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and comment down below your thoughts on Earl Thomas. I want to hear what y'all think about us potentially signing him. All right, let's break down the film because the film don't lie. So the biggest thing that Earl Thomas can bring to the team is his ability to create turnovers. He's always been a playmaker and he showed that in his time with Baltimore last year too. Our defense hasn't created any turnovers so far, so I do get why we're showing interest in Thomas. Now on this play, the Ravens are going to start off in a two deep safety look. However, they rotate to a single high look playing cover three. And the Texans do this a fair amount, so Earl would fit right in. And the Dolphins, they have a seam route by the tight end and a wheel route by the running back. Those are the two more important routes to look at. So at first you can see Earl goes to take away the tight end, but this is where his playmaking comes in. He's focused on all the routes on the field, not just one at a time. So he sees the running back and adjusts his angle and he's still got the speed to jump routes and make big time plays. His range is obviously not what it was in his prime with Seattle, but it's pretty damn close. He still has really good closing speed and recovery speed that can punish dumb throws. And you know, while I love Jay Reed and believe he can play single high, he's someone who's going to do his job and not get beat, but he's not really someone who's going to take risks and cause turnovers. And that's honestly what we need and what we can get with Earl Thomas. Here's a perfect play to showcase his recovery speed. Earl Thomas is single high and he bites inside versus Mecole Hardman and is forced to speed turn around. But look at him close the space and end up in decent enough position where he could have made a play on the ball if it was an accurate throw. The Texans already have a pretty damn good defense at stopping the deep ball and so getting Earl Thomas back there that could honestly make it elite. And with him in the back I think that means we would move Eric Murray to play nickel most of the time which he did the last two games. And we do play nickel about 50% of the time, so it's not like we'd be really wasting that contract on Eric Murray in my opinion. I'm really excited to see what Weaver can do with Thomas. I think he's more versatile than he gets credit for. Here he rotates into a too high look, and then look at him flip his hips so smoothly like a cornerback like this. And then, you know, he got a little hold in there, but he's a vet. He knows what he can get away with and what he can't. So the other thing I love about Earl is his football IQ. He's immediately the leader and quarterback of that secondary and his film is littered with plays that shows communication, leadership, and ability to be one step ahead of the offense. I love his route recognition here, he's just always in the right position to make a play. Here's one of his best plays that shows his IQ and playmaking ability all paired together. He's going to read this play instantly and should have had a pick for it. So you can see here that Earl knows that on this RPO, Baker loves going to the backside slant. And so before Baker is even done faking the handoff, he's already running for it. He's so good at taking these calculated risks because he's so damn smart. He knows he clearly has the film study down and he knows what offenses are going to do before they even show it. Here's another one where you can tell he's communicating the defense to get into proper position and down in the red zone, he can really play a roaming type of role. First, he helps the tight end over the middle. But look at this, Earl doesn't really take that threat seriously because he must know that the Patriots are really just using that tight end as a distraction to move him away from Edelman coming behind him on the crossing route. However, Earl sees it ahead of time and makes sure to get back into position to break it up. This next one is, it's very simple, but it's actually one of my favorite plays of his. So he does help over the top on this fade route, being in good position if it was an accurate ball. But what's more important to me is how he set up the slot cornerback for success. He must know that the offense is running an inside breaking route out of the slot. So look at him move the cornerback to the right. Therefore, he now has inside leverage to defend better against the inside crosser. Earl gets nothing for this in the box score, but it could be the difference between a touchdown on the board or not. And it's the little things like that that I love out of my safeties. So the last thing I'll talk about with Earl is his tackling and blitzing. Obviously, you know, tackling has never really been his strong suit, but he's not a liability there. From last year, I was actually pleasantly surprised with his tackling. But he could look rusty there with no preseason and just being thrown into the game. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, that's not really why he's here. And his ability to blitz is honestly very exciting for me. Weaver has shown that he loves to blitz safeties and Earl can time them nicely. The ability to add another safety who can cover deep but then also rotate down to the line of scrimmage and blitz is really big for this defense. He forced two fumbles last year, and that just adds to his playmaking ability and creating those turnovers that we sorely need. 
Obviously, the concern with Earl is that he doesn't have his head screwed on straight, but at this point, we're desperate for talent, man, and why not? The season can't get much worse. And maybe that even means that Antonio Brown's on the way after his suspension. Who knows with Bill O'Brien? All right, that'll do it for my Earl Thomas film breakdown. If you enjoyed, please do hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and comment down below your thoughts on the video. Shout out to all the Texans Thoughts team members. Hit that join button to check out all the extra features y'all could get, including a monthly exclusive video. This month, team members will get a film breakdown as to why the Texans offense has been hot trash. So if you're interested in that, hit the join button. Also, if you need more Texans coverage, check out Texans Unfiltered. We've got a great website, podcast, and YouTube channel with tons of great content. The links will be in the description. All right, take care, everyone, and remember the film. Don't lie.